Hi dear students, so welcome back to this uh, uh, third video of this module 2. So in the today, in this video, we are going to solve some numericals on buoyancy as well as metacentric height. So the whatever problems I am solving today, so these problems are repeatedly asked in the video examination for 10 to 12 marks. So if you just cross check all the video question papers, so one question will be asked either on buoyancy or meta center for 10 to 12 marks. Okay, so today we will start uh, simple numericals on uh, which, are, which are appeared in the video question paper on buoyancy as well as metacentric height. Okay, my dear students, in the previous class, in the previous video, we have solved a derivation of uh, uh, metacentric height. Now, here, uh, here I have given us uh, some uh, important steps to solve both buoyancy as well as metacentric numericals. So, if you follow these steps, you can easily solve any number of uh, problems. So, okay. Uh, first step is in a numerical, so they either they will be given a cylindrical element, rectangular element or any particular element. So first we need to calculate the uh, area of element. For example, if it is a rectangular, that is then the area will be length into breadth. So if it is a triangular, so then it will be half bh. Okay. So then uh, after that, the next step is so calculation of uh, vo volume of uh, that element. So the length of element will be given. So based on that, so we need to calculate the volume of that particular element which is immersed in a water or any fluid. The next step is weight of an uh, element I need to calculate based on the density or the, the density of an uh, element. So I need to calculate the weight of an uh, element. So once I calculate the weight of an uh, element, so then the weight of ele uh, element will be is equals to amount of fluid displaced. So in the first video I have shown a simple experiment. So if I put uh, any uh, element in a liquid, so th there will be a displacement and that displacement is equals to the amount of weight of that particular element. So that will be, so the weight of fluid displaced will be equals to weight of element. The next fifth step is, so that is the volume of water dispersed. Uh, once I have calculated the weight of an element so then i need to calculate uh, how much volume of uh, fluid or water is displaced so that will be equals to weight of a fluid displaced divided by weight density of a fluid so weight density is nothing but uh, density into g for example if it is a water then i need to take 1000 into 9.81 and then the next step that is the sixth step is identification of position of buoyancy so that can be identified by volume of in a fluid displaced because in the previous step I have calculated the volume of in a water displaced. So then the volume of water displaced that is position of center of buoyancy is nothing but h is equals to volume of fluid displaced by area of particular element uh, displaced. For example, uh, if so this much body is immersed means I need to consider only this particular area means for example this L means from here to here and width here and this will be the length means this will be total length so length so this will become H so that H is equals to center of buoyancy is equals to volume of fluid displaced volume of fluid displaced divided by area of element immersed this much element will be immersed so that much I need to calculate in the next seventh step is a position of center of buoyancy so center of whatever h we have calculated in the sixth step so if i divide it by 2 so then i will get the center of buoyancy so if you if you are solving the buoyancy problem till seventh step uh, is enough to uh, get the answers means if the buoyancy problems are asked 1 2 3 4 5 6 seventh step is a last step so if the problem is asked to identify the metacentric height so then I need to go with a, the next uh, step that is metacenter is equals to gm equals to i divided by v minus bg where b is a distance between the center of gravity and the buoyancy point and gm is a distance between center of gravity and the metacentric, metacentric point. i is a moment of inertia of any particular element and v is a volume of this element. 
so so these are the eight important steps if you know these steps you can solve any number of problems so today in this uh, video so i will going to solve some of the numericals with respect to the vtu which uh, which uh, the in uh, vtu exams are appeared uh, so i will solve uh, some different exam as the steps will remain same for both bioncy as well meta center only one step addition will be added for the meta center so i will uh, do with a meta centric problem so that you can easily solve the bioncy problems also okay friends let us take one one example so which is uh, appeared in a previous video examination so this question is for 8 marks and this has been asked for three times in a video examination so a wooden block of a specific gravity 0.6 has a width width 1.150 meter depth 300 mm so this is 300 mm and a length of a total element is 1500 mm the block floats horizontally on the surface of water so the fluid used in this problem is water find the center of buoyancy as well as meta centric height okay you need to identify both center of buoyancy as well as meta centric height before that so this is a reference figure for us one uh, whenever you are solving any numericals please draw the figures so that will be very useful to uh, analyze and uh, the, when you draw the figures so you will get more number of marks because okay uh, okay the next the first step in the any numerical as i said is to identify the area of that particular element so that is nothing but area of element will be given as width into height so in this one so what is the h that is height so height of this element i will take h e h e it is given as 300 mm so converting that into meters so it will be 0.3 meters then width of element so this is a width so it is given as 150 mm so if i convert that into meters so it will be 0.15 meters then length of element is given so that is 1500 mm if i convert into meters so it will be 1.5 meters then the specific gravity the specific gravity of this element is given please note that the this specific gravity is with respect to this element so i will write it specific gravity see uh, it is 0.6 if i convert into density it will be 0.6 into 1000 so that is density of standard fuel so it will be 600 now the area of this element is w into h so it is 0.3 into 0.15 so the answer will be 0.045 meter square sorry meter square so this is the area of this particular element the second step is volume of element i need to calculate the volume of element so that will be given by area into length of element so this is the area of this element then the volume will be it is nothing but 0.045 into 1.5 so this is a length so i have so the length is given in me, uh, mm so i have converted that into meters so you will get a volume of about 0.0675 meter cube the third step is to calculate the weight of element weight of element so weight of element is given by density of that particular element into g gravitational constant into volume so density of this one the specific so please note in the problem he has given specific gravity so that is 0.6 so if i want to convert it to uh, density so i have to multiply it with a thousand that is a uh, standard fluid so i have already calculated it so i will directly write it 600 into gravitational constant 9.81 into volume this much 0.0675 so your answer will be 397.305 newton 
सो दिस इज अ वेट ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर एलिमेंट वेट ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर एलिमेंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आक्म प्रिंसिपल आई नो दैट वेट ऑफ एलिमेंट इज इक्वल्स टू वेट ऑफ वेट ऑफ फ्लूड डिस्प्लेस्ड फ्लूड डिस्प्लेस्ड सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू अ स्मॉल एक्सपेरिमेंट a glass of water in which i have put a one element so when i put that element so there will be change in the volume means there will be the change in the height of that particular water level so that is nothing but weight of element when you put any element so there will be some displacement of in a fluid so that is a weight of weight of fluid displaced so i will write it so so weight of fluid so that is nothing but 3 9 Seven point three zero five newton means this much of water is displaced. This much of water is displaced. The next step is calculating the volume of water displaced. I have got the weight of water displaced or weight of fluid displaced. The next volume of fluid displaced is given by weight of fluid divided by weight density of fluid so whereas weight density is nothing but density of water into gravitational constant if i have used water as if it is it is already given in the numerical that it is floating in a water so i will take this density as in a water if uh, if any some other problems if they are having this particular water instead of water if they mention a uh, specific gravity of 0.9 so then you need to multiply it by 1000 so then it will becomes 900 so but already it is given 1000 means density is water so i will take this as a density of water 1000 now weight density of fluid so it is already calculated we know that weight of element is equals to weight of fluid displaced so weight of fluid is nothing but 397.305 so g is 1000 and 9.81 so density is 1000 g is 9.81 so then the volume of fluid displaced you will get it around so you will get it around 0.0405 meter cube this much of volume of water is displaced when this element is put into the water or when this element is floating on the water the next step is to calculate the the center of buoyancy so whatever the first step so first step is to calculate the area of element so the next step is to calculate the volume of element the next step is weight of particular element the next step fourth step is we know that according to arkham principle weight of element is equals to weight of fluid displaced so that is 397.305 then the volume of fluid is equals to wf that is weight of fluid displaced divided by weight density of that particular fluid so 397.305 divided by 1000 into 9.81 so i will get this much of volume that is 40.045 meter cube the next step is to identify the center of buoyancy the next step is to identify the center of buoyancy the center of buoyancy so center of of buoyancy center of buoyancy is nothing but center of buoyancy is nothing but volume of fluid displaced so okay volume of fluid displaced so i will so we have calculated the volume of fluid displaced that is 0.04 0 5 is equals to means how much volume of element is inside the water so that height i don't know but in the numerical the total height of element is given so i will consider this much is completely immersed so this height i need to calculate now this height i need to calculate it now so this is 1 point sorry 0.5 and the length so i will consider volume that is 0.15 into 1.5 and unknown h this will be the unknown h into h so the h will be h will be 0.18 but this is not the center of buoyancy this will be the total h 
so this h i have calculated now center of center of buoyancy is equals to h by 2 that is 0 0.18 divided by 2 it will be 0 0.9 so this is that is 0 0.9 meter is a center of buoyancy so 0 0.9 is a center of buoyancy uh, so if you till if you solve this one so you will get around 6 marks the next step is to calculate the metacentric height so we know that metacentric height metacentric height formula is given by gm that is gm is equals to gm is equals to i by v minus vg so this is a, a equation metacentric height is equals to gm by ve where i is a where i is a moment of inertia so i will calculate that i with respect to this particular element i is equals to bd cube by 12 bd cube by 12 since it is horizontally floating i will consider these dimensions these dimensions i will consider so that is 1.5 into 0 0.15 meter cube by 12 so this i you will get it around 4.218 into 10 raised to minus 4 the next step is volume so volume is already previous in a first initial steps we have calculated so that is around 0 0.0675 meter cube 0 0.0675 meter cube the next very important is calculation of bg so this bg is calculated by referring the figure whatever previous uh, initial figure we have drawn with respect to that now what is bg let us take this point o o what is bg now bg is nothing but og minus ob so bg is equals to og distance minus ob distance okay og minus ob whereas og is a center of gravity so this g is a center of gravity point so total element is how much 3 og is a 3 okay and b is a buoyancy point bg is a buoyancy point so bg is a buoyancy point so i will write it so center of gravity will be divided by 2 that is sorry so it is 0.3 divided by 2 because total length center of gravity will be at the center of particular element minus the ob is a center of buoyancy that is h by 2 that is 0.18 divided by 2 so you will get it 1.0.15 15 minus how much 0. 0. 0.0 9 0 0.09 so 0 0.09 1.15 minus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.09 it is how much you will get it 0 0.06 so this distance you have got it now this distance is 0 0.06 0 0.06 so so if you don't confuse this one so it is a distance of center bit og bg is a distance between these point okay so og is a center of gravity center of gravity of whole element so length is given so that is 3 3 hai, point 0.3 meter point 0.3 meter so that is divided by 2 will be the center of gravity then ob is a center of buoyancy point that is h we have already calculated in the previous step that is 0 0.18 divided by 2 so then you will get it ob now substitute these all equation in gm so gm will be equals to i by b so that is we have calculated uh, 4.218 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 0 0.0675 minus bg distance that is 0 0.06 so you will get it around minus 0 point 0 point 0 0.049 0 0.496 
meter. So your final GM will be minus 0.0496 meter. The negative sign indicates that the body is in an unstable equilibrium. The means the wooden block is is in a unstable equilibrium. So this is till if you calculate it, you will get the complete eight marks.